on October the summer, the 2023, Khaled Beydoun, an associate professor of law at Arizona State University, ignited a firestorm of controversy during a pro-Palestine rally at Lakemba Mosque in Australia. His comments, made on the first anniversary of the Hamas-led attacks on Israel, were met with immediate backlash, leading to the cancellation of his visa and raising significant questions about free speech, political expression, and the responsibilities of foreign nationals in Australia. At the rally organized by Stand for Palestine, Beydoun stated that the day marked considerable celebration for the elevated global literacy regarding the Palestinian cause. His remarks came on a date that commemorated a tragic event in which approximately bound hunt. Individuals were killed and many others taken hostage during the Hamas attacks on southern Israel. The aftermath of these attacks has been devastating with Palestinian health authorities reporting over 42,000 Palestinian deaths due to Israel's military response. Beydoun's assertion that the day could also symbolize a celebration of awareness about Palestine struck many as deeply insensitive, particularly given the ongoing violence and loss of life. Coalition frontbenchers and members of the Australian public reacted swiftly, condemning his comments as inappropriate and offensive. The political ramifications were immediate, as the Australian government initiated a review of Beydoun's visa status. In light of the controversy, Tony Burke, the Minister for Home Affairs, confirmed that he had requested a thorough review of Beydoun's visa status. According to Burke, the Home Affairs Department initially confirmed Beydoun was travelling on a valid visa. However, after further consideration, his visa was cancelled shortly after he had already left Australia. Burke's decision to cancel Beydoun's visa reflects a broader trend within the Australian government to scrutinise the activities and statements of individuals on temporary visas, especially those that could incite discord or violence. Burke emphasised that any individual who seeks to incite division in Australia would face heightened scrutiny and potential visa. Beydoun's situation raises critical questions about the balance between free speech and national security. Advocates for free speech argue that Beydoun's comments, while contentious, fall within the realm of political expression and should be protected. They contend that open dialogue about sensitive topics, such as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, is essential for fostering understanding and progress. On the other hand, critics assert that Beydoun's remarks could be seen as incitement and that the government has a duty to protect its citizens from inflammatory rhetoric, especially from foreign nationals. The backlash against Beydoun's comments illustrates the delicate nature of political discourse in a multicultural society, where diverse perspectives often collide. Media coverage of Beydoun's speech played a significant role in shaping public perception. Reports highlighted the inflammatory nature of his comments framing them as celebratory in the context of a tragic anniversary. This portrayal likely influenced public opinion and the governmental response, illustrating how media narratives can impact political outcomes. In an interview following the incident, Beydon claimed that his comments had been taken out of context. He suggested that his intention was to highlight the increased awareness of the Palestinian cause rather than to celebrate violence or suffering. This defense underscores a recurring theme in debates over free speech, the interpretation of language and intent. The case of Khaled Beydoun encapsulates the complex interplay between free speech, political expression, and governmental authority in a diverse society. As Australia grapples with its identity as a multicultural nation, the tensions surrounding Beydoun's remarks and subsequent visa cancellation will likely continue to spark debate. In an era where global conflicts increasingly infiltrate local discourse, the need for nuanced conversations that respect diverse perspectives while maintaining social cohesion becomes ever more critical. As policymakers navigate these challenging waters, the implications of their decisions will resonate far beyond individual cases 
shaping the future of free expression in Australia.